been shit to you, take three shots. So that means I gotta take three. You know what I really hate? But y'all not listening to the conversation. I don't know, it just felt like so satisfying. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Payton, and today I'm back with another video. As you all have read by the title, today is going to be another long-awaited story time video. It's been a while since I did a video like this, I think it's been like a couple months, but I decided to come and bring you guys another story time and slay. Before I get into the story time, I do have to make my little money where the money is made Do yeah. you know, okay? I'm going to be installing this beautiful um, multicolored lace frontal wig that I received from Nadula Hair. All the information will be in the description box below, but I am so ready to put this wig on and turn into a bad bitch while telling you guys about the time this ain't shit stupid ass nigga cheated on me. I'ma fuck you up. I'm gonna smack the dog shit out you. But you know what? This is not a video that's going to be about shade. This is not a video that's going to try to hurt anybody's character. Obviously, I'm not gonna be saying names. Everything is going to be under different aliases. So let's go ahead and get started, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the wig for a little bit. And if you guys want to skip ahead to the story, I will put a timestamp right there or in the description box below. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop right in. Okay, Paybase, so like I said, this wig today is from Nadula Hair. I've heard a lot of good things about Nadula Hair, so when they hit me up, I was like, oh yeah, we'll definitely be working together. Inside of this box came the wig. The wig was in this bag. It was definitely very protected, and the bag also has the specs about the wig on it. This wig is their Brazilian hair deep wave wig, and I believe I got it in 24 inches. If that's not correct, all the real and accurate information will be in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out if you guys want to get this look, okay? The box also came with a bunch of free goodies that they put in this little cute bag. They sent me a wig cap, which I will be using today. They sent me some hoop earrings. Okay. Yeah. What y'all trying to say, Nadula hair? Do I look like I like hoop earrings? No, I'm just kidding. I don't really wear hoop earrings though. And they also sent me a double-sided toothbrush comb thing. Every company be sending me these and it's crazy because I stick to my same one toothbrush. Y'all see me use it all the time. But I appreciate it, you know, I give these away to my friends that don't be having them. And then they sent me some little eyelashes. Okay, but why don't these mink eyelashes look good though? Okay. These hair companies are stepping their eyelash game up. I remember wearing their eyelashes that they used to send with wigs used to be looking like spider legs. But they finally, they catching on y'all. Do y'all see the mink? Ooh, okay, y'all see the 25 mm? Period, Nadula hair, we see you trying, period. Okay, y'all, so that was it for the Nadula hair unboxing, but I just wanna go ahead and start off by installing the wig on my head. Now, this is going to be a high story time. Yes, you guys got it right, you did. But since I don't want this video to get demonetized, I'm not gonna be smoking on camera. I mean, I'm sorry that y'all can't see me smoke. I just don't, I just really don't want them to age restrict this video. YouTube, please, people under 18 can watch it. I, prom I promise, I promise they can, I promise. Okay, but you know what's funny? Like you can you can go ahead and come on YouTube and be like, oh hey, I'm about to get drunk. Woo! And why don't they age restrict that? But y'all already know I'ma be faded, okay? And baby girl got her Casamigos. Is this a Neho or a Respado? I got my Casamigos Raposado. Okay, your girl got this from Costco today for a freaking discount. If y'all don't got a Costco membership, you need one. Cause you don't know how cheap liquor is there? Oh my God. I mean, y'all know I don't really care about money like that anyway, but let's go ahead and hop right in with this secret mystery box unboxing from the Weed Box. They sent me a lot of stuff, actually. All of their information will also be in the description box down below, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys what they sent me. So I got sent this a really cool, I think this is a bubbler, either a bubbler or a bong. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I had a bong just like this and I broke it. 
but i'm gonna be using this more so towards the end of the video they also sent me a brand new pipe now i don't usually use pipes but i still think this is a really nice and cool yeah so i got a bubbler i got a pipe and then they also sent me a bunch of other little goodies we got some crop kinks premium organic wraps I got some gold shining rolling papers. I think these are super cute and aesthetically pleasing. So y'all know I'm for sure gonna be rolling up and making some shit look real cute, okay? They sent me some high hemp organic wraps. Not sure what these are, but I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use them. They also sent me some primal herbal pineapple cones. And these have no tobacco and no nicotine. This just seems like a fancy king palm. I can feel it and it just feels like it's like the cone that you stuff the weed in. They sent me some huff socks okay swagging out i'm just gonna wear these to the gym yep. and they sent me a lighter some other papers oh and some king palms and last but not least they sent me a rolling tray okay from raw okay because we ain't having raw sex and i cannot wait to use them i'm not gonna use them right now but i am gonna smoke so we can get started with this high story time okay I'm sorry if this intro was super long, but I just had to get all this shit out there right now. Okay, y'all. I'm just gonna roll up really fast and smoke. I don't really feel like doing the most right now because I still have to record another video after this. So I don't really want to take too long trying to roll. If you're not rolling up, you should be now, okay? And if you haven't subscribed, you should now if you've made it this far into the video. Why aren't you subscribed yet and you rolling up with me? It's just not making sense. Are you a true baby? Do you even like me? No. Then why are you here? Just kidding. I'm gonna take like a shot or two just because I'm not really the best at storytelling when I'm high. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I tried to do a story time high and I completely forgot the entire story. But I know if I'm a little crossed, it'll help give me momentum, okay? So if you're at home right now, you don't got no weed, but you got a bottle, get yourself a bottle and take a drink unless you're not of age, okay? If it's legal where you live, girl, go ahead and take a shot, okay? If you got Casamigos, go ahead and take two shots, okay? And if you ever been with a dude who ain't been shit to you, take three shots. So that means I gotta take three. And I'ma smoke this. Let's go ahead and get started. Today's video is brought to you in part by Nadula Hair. They sent me this really, really bombastic multicolored color wig. Um, I, ha I kind of had a wig like this. It was a little similar, but I like this one so much more because it's brown all over and it's a lace frontal, not just a closure. And I did tone the blonde so that it looks a little bit more ashy. Anyway, this is a super cute 24 inch curly wig, lace frontal, thick as fuck density. All the information will be in the fucking description, period. I was trying to wrap, but it just didn't work out. Now let's move on to the three shots. One. I can't do it. Oh my god. Come on. It's okay, Amor. We good, girl. Come on. Okay. Two. I don't know about three. Look, okay. We're going to do this real quick and then. All right, y'all, so I did just smoke and those shots for sure hit me right around the same time the blunt was hitting me. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Anyway, let's begin with this story because I don't know, I'm just feeling so mischievous. I don't, I don't know. I'm ready to look like a bad bitch at the end of this too. You know, at the end of, um, what do they call it? Damn. At the end of getting your closure, you finally turn into the bad bitch that you always were, deep down inside, buried behind all of that sadness and bitterness. And this is my awakening. And I am honestly pr pretty cross-faded. Pretty cross-faded. Pretty cross-faded. But let's get started with this fucking install. Okay, so it all started. See, I keep hearing things in my bathroom and it's really tripping me out. <laughs> Am I crazy? 
no, I'm not crazy. I keep hearing shit. Anywho, I don't want anyone related to this story to watch this and feel any type of way because I don't feel any type of way. Like this is truly for entertainment purposes only. So no one has to get their panties in a bunch. Um, so I met my ex a long ass time ago. I think I was like 19 and how old am I now? 22? What is 22 minus 19? Three years ago? When I was 19 years old, I first met him and I met him like through a friend and he had a girlfriend at the time. So I probably should have thought like maybe yeah, like him having a girlfriend and trying to mess with me was bad. But I wasn't really thinking like that. I was just thinking like, you know, nice, sweet, you know, just super cool dude. But then I found out that he had a girlfriend when I first met him. I don't even remember how, how I found that out. But one of my friends ended up telling me that he had a girlfriend. So I didn't talk to him. Then he ends up hitting me up after he breaks up with his girlfriend like a year later. I don't even know if it was a year later, honestly. It could have been a couple months later, but he hit me up later. Basically doubling back like, hey, I'm single now. What's good with you? You know, let me give him a name. Um, <laughs> You know what? I like Sebastian. Okay, we're gonna go with Sebastian. So I was really attracted to Sebastian when I was younger. We just like, I don't know, like we just clicked and I just felt something with him that I had never felt with the guy before. But he was older than me, so I think it was different for him than it was for me. Because for me, I was young and I never really had like a super serious relationship before, but he had like, I think that has some type of impact. Anywho, fast forward to after he broke up with his ex, we talked like every single day. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, like I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I was a dumbass bitch. So it's not just to say like he was just this great guy and he just did everything and he did everything right and he was perfect, nope. I saw the red flags in Sebastian and I just said, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. We're, <laughs> we're meant to be together. <laughs> Me and Sebastian talked every single day, you know? And I really thought it was gonna be something, but I knew he didn't want a relationship because I remember when I like first asked him, like, what are you looking for? And he basically said everything other than a relationship. And at that moment, I had kind of already went through the motions of dealing with niggas that like didn't really like me as much as I liked them. I was kind of just over it, you know? I don't know. He, he basically showed me all the signs that he was always messing with other girls and didn't really want to be with me. But I think I convinced myself that I could change him. Yo, I don't even remember when the fuck we started talking, bro. Let me, let me look this shit up. Oh my God. I met Sebastian in 2018 and although we talked every day, I never got a straight answer from him in terms of like what he wanted in a relationship. If a nigga tells you he's not ready for a relationship, that means he doesn't want to be with you. That's, that's what it means. And I completely 100% think that was the situation at hand with Sebastian, you know? Although he did not know what he wanted in a relationship, he knew that he could not leave me alone. But in the first couple of months of us talking, we were talking every single day. After like eight or nine months, I finally got the D. And I think it was from that point that I was like digmatized over Sebastian. I think I was young and I don't know, I don't think the same way that I used to think when I was younger. But fuck these niggas. Maybe it's because I'm drunk, I'm getting in my feelings a little bit, but I truthfully don't give a fuck about this shit no more, which is why I decided to do this video in the first place. 
anywho, I was messing with Sebastian in this in the summer of my second year up to the end of 2018. And then I start fucking with this other dude. So the other dude that I start fucking with is the dude from my last story time, which is the one that I was the side chick to. So I mean, maybe I got my karma, you know, but I don't I don't know. Sebastian didn't know what he wanted, and I was like, you know what? I'm grown and I know what I want and he doesn't know what he wants. So I'm gonna stop me I'm gonna stop messing with him, you know, and this is after months of consistency. It was at that point where I started messing with the other dude and I was I was calling with the other dude. What was his name in the last video? George. George was slacking. And when George was slacking, Sebastian was trying to pick up again because he missed me, you know? And I remember it was just this one day where we were talking on FaceTime after I met up with him. At this time, I was really being anxious. Sebastian FaceTimed me. I was talking to him about how I had moved on to another dude or whatever. He said he loved me and I told him that I loved him. And it was very, it was very sentimental, you know? I, I just remember that day. He's like, do you love me? And I was like, do you love me? He was like, yeah, and I was like, yeah, and I just like felt these butterflies. Ugh, that shit makes me want to vomit when I think about it. That was not love. That was infatuation. But you know what? I really rocked with Sebastian. Like that was my best friend. Like I'm not gonna lie. And it's just crazy how people would just switch up on me, you know? Anywho, so after that conversation with Sebastian, where we basically admitted our love for each other i didn't talk to him for a while and then george the other dude that i was talking to didn't get me a gift for christmas <gasps> and i was fucking pissed and sebastian didn't have to go home to his family didn't have a family to go home to for thanksgiving so i invited him to my thanksgiving I was just feeling in the I was feeling the Christmas spirit, you know? And I don't know what the fuck George is doing. I was being the boss bitch that I am, okay? Stupid but clever. After I invited him to that Thanksgiving dinner, we really started connecting again, you know, on the same level that we used to. It was around like 2019 like new year's and shit where i was really fucking with homeboy heavy you know so then we got into a relationship on january 17th i don't know why i remember that but i do you know that's where it all went wrong so we were together and i was happy but sometimes i really felt like shit was off and what finally made me come to the conclusion and realize that this nigga wasn't shit was on Valentine's Day. So on Valentine's Day, he takes me to a little restaurant and we get a little Airbnb, rose petals, gifts, cute shit, whatever. But he didn't post me on Instagram. I had started to think like, I had started to think back like, why do you never post me on Instagram? And I will always post him. I will always post him. Like, I would make little videos of us together and everything. So, we got into an argument about it. And this is how I, this is the day that I knew something was really off. Because he started acting really weird. Like, there was even another time where we were chilling or whatever. And I grabbed his phone to, like, try to look through his phone. He got mad as fuck. Like, but I didn't think nothing of it. But I should have. But I didn't. That's that. That's the sign right there. If a nigga gets mad when when you snatch his phone, he's fucking cheating. Cause I let that nigga go through my phone. All kind of niggas was DMing me. Okay, so I don't give a fuck. Mind you, now we were only going out for like a month at that point. But it's like we had already been fucking with each other for like a year as friends or whatever. But you know. I pressed him and he really got mad because I was telling him to post me on Instagram. He was coming up with all these different excuses. I think I found out that he cheated on me in like March. It's crazy. Like in February, things were rough around Valentine's Day. Then I guess he cheated and got the ain't shit out and then just started acting like a, the, the perfect nigga, you know? It's crazy as fuck. But I was studying for a midterm. I was studying for a midterm and he went and cheated on me. <laughs> 
Niggas! Niggas! I'm being wholesome and, and niggas will sit here and be like, oh, I need a church girl that goes to church and reads her fucking Bible and then goes and cheats on that bitch that reads her fucking Bible for the bitches that don't read the Bible. But you know what? This is not about religion. This is about niggas being ain't shit, okay? Anywho, I don't want to make it seem like I sit here thinking back to the days. You know, I just want to tell y'all, you know? And I want to help y'all so that y'all don't get played like I did, okay? Anywho. Things were going good in February and then came like March. It was even better. Like I was really happy. Like that's that's that was the hardest part to let go of because in February I know it was like a little shaky, but in March, like things just got better, you know? But it was funny because we had went on a date and he finally posted me. He actually started posting me in like March-ish, but he really posted my face. And I just remember when he posted me that day, he had told me how he got a DM from some fake account. And he was like, some fake account just DM me calling me a bitch. It was the same fake account that DM me. Fast forward to the day that I got this DM, right? I'm pretty sure him posting me on Instagram is what told the mistress that I was the main. So I get this DM from this little fake account or whatever. And she's like, oh yeah, I don't know you, but um, I think I fucked your man or some, I don't know. You know, it's a coming to you as a woman DM. And I'm not one of those bitches who's gonna be like, bitch, you fucked my nigga, I'ma fight you. Like, no, I'm never gonna fight no bitch over a nigga. And if he don't choose up, then he's fucking with the both of y'all. Anywho, I was at the Fox of Mom getting my eyebrows done and that's when the fake account DM me telling me my nigga was cheating. And then I had to reply like, bitch, what do you mean? And then she was like, girl, I got the receipts. And I was like, okay, show me. It was really weird though, because she was scratching shit out. I guess she didn't want me to know who she was, but the nigga ended up telling me who she was anyway. So that was just fucking dumb. When she sends me the screenshots, it's his number, you know, it's his number, it's his address, it's everything, everything's right, but I just did not want to believe it. I was literally on the phone with him when the bitch sent me everything. I was telling him everything while it was happening, and he was like, no, they're lying, that's not me, they don't have proof, it's Photoshop. He was literally lying his ass off. And I almost believed him. He finally admits it. And that's when I tell him to come to me. I'm at the mall literally freaking furiated right now. Going off on him. Honestly, I was being so disrespectful, y'all. Like, I'm like, you fucking bitch ass nigga. You're really gonna cheat on me, da 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 So then I go through this nigga's phone, you guys. And guess what I fucking see? I need a shot for this. I need a shot for this. He's DMing bitches ever since we were in a relationship. He never even got into a relationship with me. I thought, I thought we were, but we weren't. So I don't consider it a real relationship at the end of the day because he was doing you. And it's crazy because I really could have did me. I was really being loyal. Stupid. Don't ever think a nigga's loyal to you. You know what? Let me stop. If you find a good one, you're lucky. Yeah, as I was saying, like I said, I don't sit around and think about this shit because I'm not that hurt over it. I'm not even hurt at all, really. Like, this all happened fucking years ago when I was 19, 20 years old. And I'm, I'm 22 now. You know, there's bigger, better things in the world. Period. The thing is, though, nobody ever thought Sebastian was a bad guy. Like, my mom thought he was a good guy. My dad thought he was a good guy. My granny liked him. All my friends liked him. So I really thought he was a good guy, you know? I just have to say, oh. I didn't even finish the story. I end up going off on him in the little parking lot and that's when I kick his ass out of my car and I guess that was really it. It took a couple of days for me to really realize I was like heartbroken. Like first couple of days, like I was chilling, I was cool. And then it was like a week or two weeks went by. I just couldn't eat. I was crying in the shower every day. I was heart sick, okay? Would I say that Sebastian did not love me? No, I think Sebastian loved me, but it just, I don't I don't think I was enough for him. Or, I'm sorry, that's completely wrong. I don't think he was enough for me. I knew that, but I wanted to change him, and I I can't. Like, you can't. You can't change a guy. That's what I already said. Like I thought I could change him, and I couldn't. The moral of the story: When you see the red flags, don't ignore them. And when you stop fucking with somebody for the first time, leave them the fuck alone. It's, it's never worth it to go back again.
you can't go forward looking in the rear view mirror. Facts. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this as good, but that just shows you how easy the wig is. Cause it did come pre-plucked, I'm not gonna lie. I've been slacking, honestly. I think niggas forgot. I think niggas forgot. I think bitches forgot too. Do you think like a rumor is gonna kill me, bitch? Okay. Look at all these rumors surrounding me every day. Look at all these rumors. <laughs> we gonna put that right there, okay? We gonna put that right there. There. Look at how I bodied that. Okay, let me stop. It's the alcohol. Almost finished, but we're going to transform this hair really quickly. I'm just gonna wet it and put some curl enhancing smoothie in it. Okay, 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 okay. Period. It's giving Beyonce. Maybe not Beyonce, but I feel cute as fuck. So shout out to the doula hair because they did the damn thing with this wig. It's feeling really good i did bleach this wig and i did pluck this wig myself i didn't really have to pluck it that much it was really easy to bleach the knots but i'm fucking with Adula hair i fucked with them they also sent me a 613 wig so i'm definitely going to be doing a watercolor tutorial for that very soon be on the lookout but i would definitely say go get this wig it's bomb it's super thick like it's not even thin at all like no this wig is really thick and pretty like me I'm not thick. Now, before we go, I just wanted to give a shout out to the Weed Box one more time. Go ahead and check them out. Their information is gonna be in the description box below. Also, I wanted to note that you can win a free box. And here's how. You just post a picture of your box. Include the Weed Box logo in the image and hashtag the Weed Box into the post and you'll be entered into their monthly mega giveaway. Shout out to the Wee Box one more time. Time to hit my blunt one more time before this video is over so I can go record something else. I still got the rest of this left and I'm about to make a seafood boil right after this. How long do those take? <laughs> If they demonetize this video, at least it's just at the end. All right, well, that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a big giant thumbs up. Make sure you guys comment down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you to Nadula Hair and thank you to The Weed Box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.